The Realising Increased Photosynthetic Efficiency, or RIPE project, is actively working to end hunger worldwide by improving the complex process of photosynthesis to increase crop production. By equipping farmers with high yielding crops, we can ensure that everyone has access to food to lead a healthy, productive life. As part of these efforts in 2021, we installed a large scale cable driven camera system, which is the largest system of this kind used for research in the United States. The spider cam, as we call it, allows us to collect more sensing data and imagery than ever before. So this is the RIPE Aerial Plant Phenotyping System, or RAPS. So the RAPS system was developed as a way of making measurements for a wide variety of crops growing under field conditions. We're focusing on a lot of different crop species because we want to adapt crops for a wide range of geographical locations and a wide range of food preferences across the planet. One of the biggest challenges we face is making measurements on a number of different crops that have been modified in many different ways. Traditional measurements require hands-on approaches that require a large number of people to go out into the field to make measurements oftentimes by hand, to write them in notebooks, to compile all this information and figure out what's happening with these crops long after the crop growing season has ended. What RAPS does is it consolidates everything to one platform that moves over the field under a wide range of environmental conditions, generating data that could be analyzed and interpreted in a very short period of time. This overcomes many of the challenges we've been facing over decades of agronomic research. The sensors are mounted on what we call the dolly, which is a self-stabilizing platform that you'll often see on movie sets where, for example, cameras might be hanging in the bottom of a helicopter or moving across a field. This technology was developed um, primarily for the athletic industry. So if you watch a lot of football or soccer matches, you'll see a lot of these cameras flying over the field. We've repurposed these cameras for research purposes. And instead of having your traditional red, green, blue camera that feeds right into your television, we have cameras that are making measurements over hundreds of different wavelengths, um, many of which the human eye can't even see. In each of these wavelengths, or in combinations of these wavelengths, we're able to extract really meaningful information related to the physiology of the plants, how much photosynthesis is occurring, how fast the plants are growing, the quality of the plant tissue in terms of nutrition, the system works by suspending this dolly on eight cables that go to four different towers. Each tower is about 150 feet tall, and the cable runs to the top of the tower, through the center of the tower, to the winches at the base of each tower. Based on how fast these winches are unraveling or raveling the cable, will determine how high up the dolly is off the ground and how fast it's moving across the field. With this system, we have the ability to control how fast, how slow, how high, or how low each of the sensor platforms are, as we're making the measurements. This gives us the ability to make measurements on thousands if not hundreds of thousands of plants, all within minutes. The massive amount of data being generated by these sensors is streamed through fiber optics that are in the center of each of the cables, going back to a server where all the data is stored, organized, processed, and analyzed in a way that the researchers can understand exactly what's happening with all of their experiments that occur within the footprint of this field. Overall, we're able to make measurements on four hectares or close to 10 acres of land. This corresponds to about seven and a half complete football fields that can be analyzed in a matter of two hours. Previously, we weren't able to do that level of measurement on seven and a half football fields throughout an entire growing season, whereas now we're able to do that within two hours. What types of measurements are we making? This system provides us the opportunity to make measurements of growth on a daily basis for every single plant within the measurement area. Measurements of growth can actually be made in hourly time steps for crops that are fast growing, giving us the opportunity to look at how different cultivars or different genetic modifications may result in more rapid growth under a wide range of environmental conditions. In addition to that, we're able to resolve things like photosynthesis or biochemical control of what's happening with photosynthesis. These are very important parameters understanding how plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and fix them through photosynthesis into growth, biomass, and ultimately into the food that we eat. 
In addition to these measurements, we have the ability to look at structural components of the plant canopy. How the leaves are arranged on a plant can go a long way to determine how much photosynthesis these plants can do over a period of time. Furthermore, we're able to look at things related to how much water these plants are using. Making measurements of plant temperatures using infrared thermometry gives us the ability to see how hot or cold the plant canopies are, which directly translates into how much water these plants are using. So not only does this system give us the opportunity to measure photosynthesis and growth, it goes a long way into helping us understand how much water is being used to accommodate that level of growth. Ultimately, we're gonna use this technology to identify the genetic modifications being made to food crops that yield the best results without having to rely on a lot of the uncertainties associated with traditional techniques. The RIPE research team includes biologists, computer scientists, uh, geographers, and a wide range of other disciplines in order to take these data streams together, do the analysis, and interpret the data in ways that are gonna be meaningful for the advancement of crops, both today and into the future. The RIPE project is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the US Foundation for Food and Agricultural Research, and the UK Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office.